Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna kind of be somewhat all over the place. I have a pretty vague idea of what I want to do. I just knew I wanted to film something, but I'm kind of just sitting down now and I'm gonna do some makeup, so I figured this portion of the video could be kind of like a chit chat get ready with me. I also have been really wanting to try out the new Wet n Wild foundation. This is the new Dewy one, so I'm gonna wrap like a review into this as well. And then I'm going to get my hair done later, so I want to do probably like when I do like a touch base to like review the foundation, like see how it's wearing. I'll show you my new hair, so there's going to be like a slight vlog portion in it too. So I don't really know what to like call this video. It's just like I said, kind of going to be somewhat all over the place, but I just want to sit down and play with some makeup. I have a new like eyeshadow technique I want to try out because I feel like I do my eyeshadow the exact same way like every single time. That's why I have this tape here. I obviously already went ahead and did like my brows and did some color correcting. So we're just going to dive right into it and we'll see kind of what this turns into. Okay, so I've got you zoomed in a pretty good amount right now, so we're going to focus on the eyes first. Like I said, I have an idea of a new technique I kind of want to try out. So for my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. And I'm going to use my Morphe E18 brush. This is what it looks like, the Morphe E18. It's just a very dense... Um, kind of like smudger brush and I'm going to be taking the shade rustic right here Which is a very matte kind of like cool tone brown packing it on my lid Right in like the crease area. So instead of like blending it out and like smudging it I'm really gonna be packing the product onto my brush and Just kind of stamping it onto my eye to make sure it's very very pigmented I don't really have any like set ideas of like what I wanted to like talk about in this video, but I, d I didn't want it to be like tutorial based I wanted it to just be kind of like more casual and literally just me playing with makeup Which is what I want to do. I've been thinking of doing like a and a but I don't First of all like I feel like I would like Advertise I guess like maybe on like my Instagram or something like ask me questions like blah blah and like nobody would ask me Anything so I'm like kind of embarrassed to even like put it out there, but I guess if there's anything that you guys want to know definitely like mention it in the comments you can ask questions there i'll go ahead and link like my social media below so i guess if you want to follow me you can not that i'm like super exciting on there or like even that active honestly i don't think i posted on instagram since like my birthday in december but i'll just you know i'll just put it out there just in case anybody wants to and then definitely start asking me questions now so i just think that'd be super fun if i did a q a but i'm also thinking of doing like one of those tag videos where it's like 20 random facts about me or whatever but I feel like that's so vague like I'm the worst at thinking of like fun facts or like things about me like I need to be asked like a direct question for me to like talk about stuff like that I feel like so we'll see that's kind of like an idea that I've had for a while but obviously I don't have like a super large following and I'm pretty sure the most I'm pretty sure most people that like watch my videos are like obviously like direct friends and family but if you are somebody that I don't know personally and you have any questions to ask me definitely leave them in the comments and I just think that'd be so fun for me to like answer questions so you guys can know more about me and stuff. Okay now that I've got that shade rustic all patted out I'm gonna go in with the shade burnt orange right here which is literally exactly that burnt orange shade. Again another matte one and I'm gonna be taking this on my JH40 brush which is another Morphe brush and it's a little bit more fluffy so I'm going to use this shade to blend out the edges of that rustic shade that we already stamped down on the crease. So in the beginning I mentioned that I wanted to try a new eye technique and this is it. I feel like every time I do my eyeshadow I was always taught like watching like the videos from way back in the day to start out with the lightest shade first like in the transition shade and then move in with the darker shades and blend it out that way. But what I've been noticing is a lot of people have been kind of doing the reverse and putting down the darker shades first and then blending them out with the light shades, which, I mean, it comes together beautifully. Like, I've never seen a bad eye look using that technique, so I've kind of been inspired to try it out. I also eventually want to get back into using eyeliner. I would legit, like, every single day... When I was like a freshman in high school, the Naked 2 palette was like my favorite palette in the entire world. That was like the only eyeshadow that I would ever use. And I think school started at like what, like 7.30 high school did. And I would legit wake up at 5 a.m. every single day and do a full-blown smoky look with my Naked 2 palette and then finish it off with this dramatic wing. I just want to pause for two seconds for my story. I'm going in with this um, JS9 brush and I'm going to take the matte shade orange soda 
and further blend these brown shades up into my crease. But anyway, yeah, I would literally wake up so, so early to do this, like, dramatic-ass makeup every single day for no reason. Like, I don't even remember why I did that. I just, I just really loved makeup, and I just loved, like, looking, like, good and presentable throughout the day, I guess. So I would, like, go so hard, like, every single day for high school. Like, 15-year-old me doing, like, a freaking, like, clubbing going out makeup look for like every day and it was just so crazy like why i even did that eventually like i got into not doing eyeliner because it kind of became a crutch for me like i realized i had a problem when like i could not leave the house or i could not do my makeup without having a full-blown wing eyeliner so i kind of like made myself stop doing that for a while it's been a really long time since i remember doing wing eyeliner because since I stopped doing it, now I'm scared that I'm not going to like really know how to do it anymore. I'm going to go into the shade Cypress Umber. And I'm going to take that Cypress Umber shade and pack that right onto like my outer third of my eye. Again, just like stamping it. I've also been really thinking about doing other people's makeup like on the side. Um, not necessarily starting like, I guess like a business out of it. But just, I mean, I kind of have done people's makeup in the past like for fun and stuff. But I've never like seriously considered doing it like to where I could like make money off of it. So I don't know, it's kind of something that I've also been thinking about doing, but I don't really have any people like practice on. So besides my sister, I always do my sister, but I feel like I would need to get experience on like different like face shapes first before I start doing that. And like, obviously like taking people's money, like I wanna make sure I do a good job if I'm like charging people for it. I'm gonna pause for two seconds so I can go ahead and do a cut crease. Yes, I'm attempting a cut crease. If you've ever seen my other videos of my cut creases, they have not came out that great. But again, this is another thing that I've been like practicing. So I'm gonna go and do that really fast and then I'll come back and we can continue our little conversation. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting some like shimmer on because I feel like I'm gonna sit here like all day trying to mess with this and it's just not going to look right. Oh my god, this job that I just applied to her is calling me back and I'm like panicking right now. Okay, hang on. Hello? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Okay, that works. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Oh my gosh, I am so happy right now. I'm gonna take the shade Glistening because I've never used this shade. It's right here next to Orange Soda. Okay, so that was a job that I had applied for. I guess I should give like a little backstory because um, that would like make sense. So if you've ever seen any of my American Eagle clothing hauls, which is pretty much, I think I only did one video actually. <laughs> I filmed the second one like several times and it didn't come out the way I wanted to so I like never upload it So I'm pretty sure I just have the one up right now Anyway, if you've seen that video, which is pretty much where I've gained most of my subscribers from Hi, if you came from that video if you found me through there Um, I've made it very clear that I do work for American Eagle So I've been with the company for I'll be five years in October So a really long time. I've been there since I was 16 years old and I started out just as a little associate. I had absolutely no job experience, absolutely no experience with anything, and I've slowly worked my way up to various management positions. This is something that I've been hesitant to talk about um, because I know I have certain family and people on here and also, like, people I don't know. And by saying this, I, I didn't want to, like harp on this situation even though it's affected me greatly I, I didn't want to say it and maybe put out a bad image of the brand or the company or anything like that I love American Eagle I still love American Eagle I still work for American Eagle but recently so back in June I was promoted to full-time management before then I was just doing like a part-time manager position and back in June, a full-time position opened up at my store. So I have been working as a full-time assistant manager since like June. Um, and I loved my job. Absolutely loved my job. The thing that was just so great about it was I never ever, I guess you could say like, obviously it was a job. So there was like hard work involved, but like and, like, obviously, like, not every day is a good day, but when you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And that's how I've always felt about working at American Eagle. I've always loved 
what I've done. I love clothing, I love the business, I love selling. I just love fashion and, and meeting new people and all that stuff. I've absolutely loved my time there. So to me, this job was like a dream come true. I was so proud of myself that at the age of 20, I had been promoted to a full-time management position. It's been something that has been difficult. I literally have to leave in like 30 minutes for my hair appointment. I can't do this right now. But anyway, I, I don't want to like harp on this situation and make it out to be like a horrible thing because I understand why it happened. Um, so back in January, I gotta stop. <laughs> back in January, I was informed that the company was eliminating my position. I was offered, so in place of the sales manager position, they have implemented two sales lead positions. Um, to like part-time management positions in place of it. So I was offered one of those, I took it. I'm still with the company. I'm still a manager there. I'm still with American Eagle and I still love American Eagle. It was just obviously very devastating to me to have my, my job, my full-time job that pays my bills taken from me. Unfortunately, it just so happened that that position was no longer going to be available. So that's what happened. Anyway, so that was something that affected me so much. It's partially why I, t I took a break from YouTube because I went, I'll be honest, I went through a bit of a depression for a while after I essentially lost my job. Um, so, you know, I've just been kind of laying low for a while, kind of trying to figure out what do I do next, why, you know, like, the thing is that, yes, I was completely devastated by this, but you know what, everything in life, I believe, happens for a reason, and I, I'm still trying to find that reason, I guess you can say, it's, it hasn't been easy for me this past couple of months, um, you know, with the adjustment and everything, but, um, and they gave me the option. They completely gave me the option um, to obviously, like, leave the company. Um, I could file for unemployment and do that whole thing. Um, but I didn't want to. Like, even though that happened, I still love the company. I still love my job. And if that means that maybe I just have to wait up a little bit longer for something else to open up, then that's fine. Like I said, I, I just love my job. I loved what I did. And I love the business, so for me it was a no-brainer to decide that I wanted to stay if they would allow me to, which they did. Like, after I got my first paycheck, like, yeah, it's a 10-hour difference, I'm not working full-time, I'm only getting 30 hours. That affects my paycheck, like, that affected me really, like, a lot, like, more than I actually, like, kind of thought it would. So, I don't want to say I've been, like, actively looking for a second job, because to be honest, I didn't want to, like, I still kind of think that I didn't want to accept like what had happened. I didn't want to start over with a new brand. I just, I didn't, I didn't want to leave. Like I didn't want to like, I guess accept um, my new reality, my new situation. So I've been looking like on like Indeed or whatever for like different jobs, different retail jobs. I know I wanted to stay doing that, but I hadn't found anything that had like really, really like, you know, grabbed my attention and anything that I was like, I could see myself doing. Um, which I, you know, I don't know, I think part of that was just me being in denial and me not wanting to start over, not wanting to change, because I was really happy with what I was doing. But, so long story short, my friend, this girl I've known forever, she came into my job as I was working, like, last week, and, um, I didn't, you know, like I said, I didn't really tell a lot of people when this happened, I only told, like, immediate friends and family, because I didn't want... I was embarrassed, I'll be completely honest, I was so embarrassed even though it like literally had nothing to do with me, it was entirely just the company and their decision of what to do with their brand. Um, I was hurt, I was embarrassed, and I, I didn't want anybody to like really worry about me, so I didn't say anything, and it kind of just ended up coming up in conversation because I don't like to lie and, you know, I, I just I just felt like I should say it, so I told her what had happened and I'm not gonna say where she works I'm not gonna say like the company name but um she works in retail and she told me that the store that she works at 
they are looking for a part-time management position when it opened up. And no, it's not full-time, but I figured maybe even if I don't get a set amount of hours, like every little bit helps. So she told me about this position. She was like, oh my God, apply. So I did. I went ahead and put in an application and she gave me the manager's phone number and I texted her and all that. And um, I got a call back um, Monday actually. And she let me know that I guess whoever the person that's in the position now, she didn't know she was going to leave basically. So it was kind of just up in the air as if the position was still available or not. And she which I really appreciate. She told me up front and she said she just didn't want to string me along through the interview process if it wasn't like a guarantee that the spot was even still there. So I just got a call back, um, which is what that whole thing was, from the manager saying that it was confirmed that the girl is definitely leaving and the spot is for sure open and she scheduled an interview for me uh, next week, which is so exciting. And I just think that maybe like this is that reason like when I say everything happens for a reason and I, I didn't know why, like maybe like this is like, like more so meant for me. Um, I don't know, or like maybe just something's gonna come out of this. <sighs> I can't stop crying. I've been so emotional since this happened. Just cause I'm an emotional soul too, like everything, like I just feel like I feel things like so deeply. Um, so this, this just has hit me so hard and it's really tough to talk about. You just never know, like I just feel like like, something will not get taken away from you in life if there's not something else better in store. So, there's a reason that this all happened. There's a reason that it happened to me. I'm just waiting to find that out. So, I'm very excited for this possible new beginning. If I do get the job, I don't want to jinx myself. I'm feeling very lucky. And, um, I'll just, I'll see where this takes me. And, of course, I'll do an update. Um... I guess if anybody, like, wants to hear. Maybe I, like, won't post this, though. Well, I don't know. People don't get jobs all the time, but I'm that weird person that I'm like, I don't want to, like, announce that, like, I have a potential to get something and then have it not happen and be embarrassed. But, like, honestly, like, sh like things happen. Shit happens. So maybe this isn't even, like, meant for me. But, like, I'm just going to take it, take the opportunity that's been given to me, and do my very best with it. And if it's not... If it, if it won't work, then it, it won't work. Then that's what it is. But, you know, I'm just, I want to give it a try. And I'm very happy that, um, I, I guess I've been given the opportunity to. I'm missing a brush. I definitely lost a brush. And I think it's because I put it back. So, yeah, that was my, that was my little story. Which, again, I, I've been avoiding talking about it for various reasons. Mostly, like, this is the internet. Anybody can watch this video. Anybody can, I guess interpret it a certain way and I, I don't want to like I don't want to like put a bad image out on the, the company because a lot of companies do this like this is not an uncommon thing it just sucks that it had to happen to me and especially at such a young age um being that I am moved out to and I was completely financially dependent upon that job it's a shitty situation I'm not gonna lie but you know life happens shit happens and you can mope around and sulk and be miserable about things or you can choose to get up and move on. That's kind of the path that I have chosen. It's just like this happened for a reason. Better things are coming. Move on. So I'm not ready to part ways with American Eagle just yet. I love the brand. And like I said, this has been my only job that I've ever had since I was 16. So it's meant a lot to me. I'm now 21, if you didn't know. So this job means a lot to me. I'm not ready to leave just yet. If it's one thing that I've learned... It's just to take every opportunity that you're given because things like that are what's going to help you grow, what's going to help you most in life. So that's kind of the journey that I'm on. That's kind of where I've been at. I'm glad I didn't make like a designated video for this because I, again, I don't want to like harp on it and make it out to be like some whole big thing and blow it out of proportion and like just cause like unnecessary like drama, I guess. Like I just, I just don't want to be like reprimanded for this even though it is something that's affected me personally and it's not me talking trash about any brand or any company. It's just me literally explaining what has happened to me and my experience and how I'm feeling, um, which is totally valid. So again, that's why I'm kind of addressing this. Um, plus that call was unexpected and I didn't want to just 
leave it hanging. That wasn't even one of the things that I had like intentions of talking about in this video, but you know what? Obviously it was meant to happen because that's why I got that phone call when I was doing this, so. That's my little story. I'll give you guys an update. I just realized I don't think I mentioned a single thing about this Wet n Wild foundation because I was so busy running my mouth, but I love it. <laughs> if, if that, you know, counts as a review, um, my skin looks really smooth. Do I think it's as dewy as my beloved Maybelline Dewy Fresh? Dewy and Dewy Fresh? Dewy and Smooth. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy version. Do I think it's as like luminous as that? No. It's definitely got some life and some glow to it, even though I did powder. But if you're looking for like the ultimate dewy, like wet look, which I guess maybe not that many people want in a foundation, unless you're me and you just love to shine. It's good. It definitely looks really good. And it's not as matte, clearly, as the original. Um, but I still like the original. See, that's the thing, is I have more dry skin, and since the original is such a matte finish, I, I, I typically don't gravitate towards matte foundations. However, that one has a very, like, kind of a natural matte, very, like, smoothing look. So I can see the same like smoothness in this foundation. I did definitely go ahead and apply like two layers of it, but um, I really like it. I do really like it. It looks very like fresh face, which I like. It doesn't look super like cakey or heavy, which sometimes the original one can look on me if I layer it up too much. This one's really nice so far. So I'll definitely do a check-in after my hair appointment to kind of show you guys how it's wearing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut this off now just cause I'm, just finishing my mascara and then I'll just go ahead and apply some lipstick but um yeah I'll probably show you like later on when I get my hair done so I guess I'll see you then hi guys so I have made it to my hair salon the weather's kind of starting to get a bit gloomy out it looks like it might rain actually but I'm hoping by the time I come out that's not gonna be too dark uh, with that and then also um, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I mean the sunset doesn't shouldn't set until like close to 8 now because daylight savings Yay, so we'll see I'm hoping there's still gonna be some light left so I can actually show you the end results Because uh, right now my hair looks so shitty up in this little messy bun and I've got so much dry shampoo in it So I'm like really praying for a miracle here um, So I'll be back uh, when I come back and I can show you guys my new hair. All right, so I am back. I just finished getting my hair done. I literally look like a little coconut head, but honestly, I just think the style's so cute and I was so ready for a change for summer. So I just got it cut very short, um, like right by like my shoulders, kind of like a lob type thing, like that long bob style. Um, and we added some layers and then I've got these cute little like front pieces too to kind of help like frame the face. So I think it's so cute and I didn't even realize like, obviously like I knew I had long hair. It was like down to like my hips um but I actually ended up donating it was like 12 inches from the back and then the two front strands ended up being like 10 inches so yeah I ended up donating my hair to I believe it's wigs for kids okay so I am home now after everything I even treated myself to a little chamois shake from McDonald's because I am so excited for St. Patrick's Day but anyway um I remembered that kind of a portion of this video was me like reviewing that wet n wild foundation so i just want to give you a last little recap um and kind of show you guys what it looks like after several hours of wear time i don't remember i put it on around like 1 p.m and it is a little bit past 10 now so i'll just zoom you in and kind of show you how it's worn throughout the day so it's held together like really really well i think it did a fantastic job it didn't really break up that much on my face obviously the only area that I can really see it coming apart is like on my chin and kind of around my mouth area that's where I like touch my face the most but other than that it still looks really great so I think um, that it wears really really nicely and I love how like nice the coverage is so overall yeah I'm really happy with my makeup today and how that turned out especially and also really loving the short hair so I'll have to like play around with it a little bit and kind of figure out like how I want it to be styled like specifically and stuff. Also excited to like curl it and maybe like straighten it a different way. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video guys. I hope you really liked it. I know it was kind of all over the place and literally like seven different videos in one, but 
Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you stuck around, if you made it to the end, thank you. Um, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see more random videos from me. And leave some comments um, in the comment section below, especially those questions if you guys want to see me do um, a Q&A. So that's all I have. I hope you guys have a great night, great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!